So chapter 9 of the Dragon Ball Super Manga has finally been revealed for the world to see. Lots of amazing content and joining me here today is Jer as he's saying for another Dragon Ball Super discussion and today we'll be diving into the Frost vs Goku tournament battle. Before we begin, here's the deal. Now, there are a few things that bother me about this chapter. Um, I asked the community and many seem to agree. Some had their own opinions on the matter. Some liked it, some disliked it. But overall, it's amazing to see the progression of Dragon Ball Super taking place. And, and right now, I want to ask you right now, Mr. J.R. Saiyan. Now, uh, with Frost transforming twice during you know his battle with Goku, and with Frost you know hitting his final form towards the ending of the battle with Goku, going Super Saiyan God and whatnot, uh, what are your overall thoughts leading into the next chapter of the Toyotaro Dragon Ball manga, and in particular, what are your overall thoughts on Frost battling Goku, and what was actually seen during the uh, chapters, if you guys haven't seen it, click in the, in, in the uh, description below, if you guys want to go on ahead and see it for yourselves, um, but I want to get like your overall thoughts on Frost versus Goku, in particular, um, you know, Frost transforming twice, like, I, I just personally feel as if, you know, as cool as it is, um, I just feel like they're rushing through the transformation relatively quickly, um, that was actually the very first time that, you know, Goku has ever seen a transformation, like, you know, the one, the one that he witnessed from Frost, um, because mm -hmm. we saw a similar transformation from Frieza when he was on Planet Namek, but Goku never saw that transformation because he was still rejuvenating and whatnot, so, like, what are your overall thoughts, um, on Frost versus Goku? thus far well from the from the I'm hyped I'm just as hyped as you are and I can also agree real quick point I can also agree with you that they they did you know shove transformations way too quick for um for frost uh, that, that's how I felt as well and a lot of people are gonna be disappointed because they're pretty much the same exact thing as Frieza right, but right because they are the same exact thing as Frieza you can you can uh, I guess uh, create the assumption that those are kind of maybe the transformations for a Frieza race, you know, maybe for the, maybe the family race. So what or you're saying is like perhaps maybe you know the entire you know uh, race of Arcosians or Frieza clansmen have like the same exact transformation states. I mean, I I can kind of see where you're going at here because Frieza's second transformation state looked very similar to King Cold's. Um, mm -hmm. so I I can kind of see where you're going with that. Um, but like, what are your overall thoughts on the presentation that we had? with Frost and Goku because again um, Frost like the way Frost stepped up to Goku was really awesome because he was, he was really intimidating looking but then he cracked a smile <laughs> he sticks out his hand <laughs> yeah and, and he stuck his hand out like that was something that Goku did not I mean I, I didn't expect it I'm I pretty sure you didn't either, either. Um, yeah. but like what are your thoughts on that like he stuck his hand out he said yo let's do this and um, like I, I, I would assume that at first, I, I, I would think that Goku got the best of Frost, uh, which kind of forced Frost to transform. Um, but, like, the entirety, like, like, the overall presentation here, like, what are your thoughts? Before Frost hitting his final transformation state, um, how do you think this battle is going to go thus far? Because we do have an understanding that Piccolo is going to fight. So how do you yeah. think that's going to come about? Do you think that Goku's going to do something that's going to get himself disqualified? Or um, do you think something else happens? Like, what are your overall thoughts on the presentation thus far, given with Frost and Goku? Frost and Goku. Goku looks like, you know, he just came off a battle where he was like joking around and he couldn't really hurt right. uh, Winnie the Botamu, Pooh. Yeah. Uh, Botamu, yes. He couldn't really hurt him because of his skin and, he, you know, he was pretty much indestructible skin wise, right? Yeah. It was very hard to hurt him. And he just threw him out the ring. Like, I, I Shampa like... was very pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Shampa yeah, was, was very pissed. He was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> so I think Goku going to the next fight, he's a little bit more serious. But he's not going all out. I mean, as you know, he's still in his base form. Yes. He's kind of taking it kind of like the Frieza fight. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Frieza fight. And I bet he still feels the same as he was fighting Frieza because it's, it's you know, they, so, they look exactly so alike. Do you think he's that overconfidence around. is there, right? Oh, yeah, yes, dude. I, I don't know what about Goku. He's been really overconfident in Super. Really cocky, um, right? Yeah, really cocky. And I mean, it, it's I'm a change. I'm digging it so far because like oh, yeah. the overall like the like the way they fought was like really different because uh, Frost actually did like a like a little technique where he charged at Goku but then like he went right past them and like he wrapped his tail around his leg and he spun around and he punched him like that was really really cool yes. so um, I'm digging the like 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 the way they're fighting because um, when they were fighting at a particular point they, they they were moving so fast that Roshi and Krillin weren't able to keep up and that reminded me of um, when Goku fought Cell because they were moving so fast that nobody was able to keep up so. Um, but in terms of Frost's base form compared to Goku's base form, how do you think he fares up here? Because Frost was the one that transformed first. So if you had to compare base levels, 
where does like where does Frost rank? Do you think he's stronger than base form Goku, or do you think base form Goku is stronger than base form Frost? Goku's base form, I would say, has to be a lot stronger than than Frost. I I, I just feel like you know reading the manga or at least looking at the pictures because I cannot read Korean. Um, you, you just see the the difference of Goku not really going all out and you know taking Frost on and having Frost to have transform not once but but twice. twice. In order to be able to, you know, and we, we don't even know what he's going to do after the twice, but we're assuming most likely Goku's, something's going to happen, he's going to lose. I mean, for sure so, Goku So you're saying that Frost's base form is weaker than Goku's base form? Yeah. I okay, mean, I mean, I, I can see that. Just, just, just because Goku has been training in base form for a long-ass time now with Vegeta and oh, yeah. you know, training inside the hyperbolic time chamber and stuff so you would think like oh shit like he has the advantage here okay um but like what about frost's final form because we, we we saw a glimpse of that towards the very end and again he looks just like frieza but like yeah. he has like a different i i don't know like there's something about him that's different pattern. in that it's form pattern. It, it's it's definitely the pattern so it's the arms like, i think like what are your thoughts on his final form Oh, or at least we presume is his final form. Um, where do you think he ranks compared to Goku? Now, we don't really know. I mean, some people are, are assuming that Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan God. Um, others are saying that he just transformed into a regular Super Saiyan. Um, needless to say, whichever transformation state he's in, where does Frost's final form rank amongst Goku's transformed state? I mean, that's that's really hard to tell, especially because the, the manga just left us in the damn cliffhanger. Exactly. Right? Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> So, I mean, this is literally the conversation is sparks. Like, where is he at? Um, if I would have to go about where he's at, I would say he's he's a, a little bit under. I feel like he's he's still a little bit under Goku. He's below Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Uh, yes, I believe so. Because if you see, you know, the, the third form, we're, we're presuming it's the third form, right? Uh, uh, Frost. Give or take, yeah. Yeah, give or take. He, um... Didn't really do much. I mean, that was, what, two transformations, if it's his third form, not second, you know. Uh, two transformations to pretty much not really do anything against his base form. Well, yeah, and then he, he, yeah, I mean, he, he did get a really good hit on Goku. Like, he did, like, one of those, like, finger trick shots where, like, oh, it was yeah, so yeah. much of Frieza. And it caught Goku right in the chin. And Goku smacked the ground really hard. And then, you know, Piccolo <laughs> was like, oh, shit, I remember this and stuff. Like, it, it got really intense. And then oh, it was at that moment Goku's like, okay, all right, so... It seems like you want to go all out. I'll go all out too, and and that was when he transformed. Again, we don't really know if he's a Super Saiyan or if he's a Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan God, God Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Um, yeah. But well, like whatever that means, like wherever he ranks, I think it's Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan only because of everyone's reaction. Um, like Shampa's reaction, it was Frost's reaction. Everyone's reaction, they they were shocked. Like their jaws were dropping, mm -hmm. and I would assume that's because he transformed into a god. Um, and and as you saw when Goku charged him. Frost did not hesitate. Like, this dude transformed, oh, no. he, he transformed right, right away. Right away. <laughs> right away. He was scared as fuck. Like, he knew right there. He was like, nope, I'm not like, doing oh, with shit. this. So he yeah, knew. Um, but then again, when he transformed, Goku stopped. And Goku was like, okay. And, and what we're assuming here is his final form. I have a feeling that this is not Frost's final form. I just have that feeling that he has another level beyond this, um, which will really be a shocker if that's the case. But um, So in terms of, let, let's say, for example, we have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku versus final form Frost, right? All right, so they battle. What happens here? Like, does, does Goku eliminate himself? Does he get knocked onto the ground, like, similar to how Botamo did? How do you think this fares up? Because um, Piccolo has to step in at this point. So how do you think this is going to be, like, a turnabout? Like, how do you think this is going to go about? All right, my prediction here. It's a very bold prediction, but this is it. Goku and Frost, they're going to go at it more intense than ever. Of course, it's going to be a really close match. But, like I said, I feel like Goku still has the upper hand. I, I feel like Frost does have another transformation, or another power up, or something, right? Right. So I, I feel like Goku has an upper hand, and that I feel like that cockiness is what's gonna cost him the battle. I feel like he's gonna hit Frost. My bad. <laughs> he's gonna hit Frost. Frost is gonna fall or something, or Frost. Something's gonna happen to Frost where he's down. Goku's gonna turn around, thinking that he won, and Frost's gonna come back, hit him in the back of, of, the, of the neck, or hit him from the back and get him in the ring out. So you think it's going to be due to just mere assumption of knockout because you would assume here that Goku thinks he won. He turns around, he's like, yay me, and then Frost knocks yeah. him down to the ground, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could definitely uh, see that happen because it just shows how, Go how, how clumsy Goku is. Um, for me, I think that, I, and, and again, guys, this is mere speculation and prediction. I think that what Goku's going to do here is Goku's going to try to toy around with him 
and mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think Frost is going to allow that to go down like that. So <laughs> what I think Frost is gonna do is he, he's gonna outsmart Goku. Like I, at this point, it's not really a fight to the death. It's it's a fight to elimination. So whoever gets eliminated is out. So I think that. I, I really think that Frost is definitely going to outsmart Goku, um, perhaps using a technique that we've never seen before that causes Goku to slip up and then which is going to catch him off guard and then Frost can execute his move. Um, mm -hmm. But needless to say, I think this is going to end similar to how PyCon fought Goku, except in reverse. I think uh, Frost is going to do something to Goku where it causes him to just, you know, uh, get out of touch with his own character, and he's going to end up, you know, losing the fight for himself. Um, I don't think Goku's going to get completely beaten. I don't think he's going to get Majin Vegeta knocked out. Uh, but what I do think is going to happen is he's going to slip up somehow. He's yeah. going he's gonna, to he's gonna get really confident with his powers, and he's going to think, yeah, I have it in the bag. But then Frost is gonna outsmart him because you know sometimes you can be the you can be the strongest one on the field, but it's all about who's smarter. So that, 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 that that's just my prediction. Now, um, what are your thoughts surrounding Final Form Frost versus Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku? Is it too soon, or do you think it's perfect timing for them to just go all out? Mm, I feel like it, it was a little too soon. I do feel like it was too, too soon. soon. Why, why is it too soon? Um, it, it would just you know so so sudden at least in the manga i'm pretty sure in the anime they'll, they'll kind of drag it out a bit which is what we want right we don't want it to be too oh, absolutely, fast absolutely but I, I i don't know man it just felt like super fast pace to the point where like they're fighting 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 intense fighting and then transformation one you know like 30 seconds or maybe even less of fighting and then Goku uh, transforms, rushes at him, and then he goes final form. Like, damn, Again, man, guys, was... if you guys want to go on ahead and read this, it's in the description down below. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I get what you're saying. But Frost, if you think about it, whatever whatever form tr Goku transformed in, Frost had to just quickly act up. Yeah, he needs to one up. He knew, yeah. he knew, like he was in trouble because, I like, w like what really, like what really, you know, catches the audience's eye here is if you look at Shampa, his reaction when Goku transformed, he was shocked. His jaw dropped. So yeah. I would assume, in my personal opinion, that it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Now, some people are saying in the comment section, well, Alex, it's not the Super Saiyan God form because it, it's a different structure. And if you pay attention to the way he's designed, it's not, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Who's to say it's not? If, if it is a regular Super Saiyan, then, then so be it. I don't, have, I don't really have a problem with that. That'd um, be badass. But again, like, what would force Goku to use a level that's beneath Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, especially if he's been using it for like until thus far. Why would he use anything below that, you know? So so final predictions yeah. on this. So Frost, you believe Frost is definitely gonna outsmart and get the best of Goku on this one, correct? I believe, yes. Now how strong is his final form compared to uh, well I mean again you said you know less than Super Saiyan God, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so where does he rank amongst his own team? Because obviously, oh, Kutamo, you know, Kutamo is not really all there. We don't really know too much about Majeta or Kabe or Hit. And Hit was just standing. Hit, like, what I love about Hit is the fact that if you look at the manga, the entire mm -hmm. time they showed him, he was there, he had his arms crossed, and he had his <laughs> head down, and he was pissed, and he had his eyes closed. He didn't yep. give a shit. He did not give a shit. So, where, where does Frost's final form rank amongst everyone else in that group? Mm, three. Three. I rank him three. three. I rank him below Kabe and Hit. Oh, wait. So is it Hit, Kabe, Frost? <laughs> yeah, I, I think Hit's the strongest. Hit, Hit Kabe, all right, Frost. Well, I mean, we're all assuming that Hit's the strongest here, and I believe so too. Yeah. Um, but why, why Kabe? What's so special about this little this little kid that you just think that he's more powerful than the Emperor of Universe Six? I don't know, man. Something about Saiyans, man. Saiyans always tr always find a way how to come up on top. Now, now that's, that's the scenario with our Saiyans. What, what a twist it would be for, you know, their, their Saiyans. Saiyans. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I mean, just feel like uh, Saiyan like, always has that willpower to overcome. Yeah, absolutely. And what, really, what I really love about this chapter is how Frost was so gully looking. Like, he, <laughs> he just looked mean mugged. But then he stuck his hand out, and he like he, I, 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 like one minute he's like all pissed off, the next minute he just cracks a smile, and he's like, "All right, man, let's do our best." Like that, <laughs> that, that Goku's dude, face, that killed like, me, Goku's dude. facial reaction. He was like, "Uh, yo, Everyone's this was facial reaction. like th this is not what Frieza would do. Like, what the hell's going on? Like, it was just priceless." So, um, final thoughts leading into chapter ten. What do you think is going to happen in chapter ten? Ah, uh, dude, I, I don't. Uh, they would show the rest of the fight, right? Oh, uh, uh, they, yes. they show the outcome. Yeah, and they're gonna show Piccolo getting getting uh, beat. <laughs> so Piccolo's gonna get his ass whooped yeah, by man. Frost. 
five. He, if, if he beats Goku, there's no way in hell Piccolo's gonna be able to win. Dude. Come uh, again, on. man. Sometimes it's all about <laughs> being the smartest. So, so you're saying this dude, this one dude, is gonna take out two guys? Uh, is yeah. that what you're saying here? Because that's what it sounds like you're saying. Yeah, you're saying that he's gonna take out Goku and Piccolo. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna Piccolo is gonna rely on that special beam kind of like. But then all, all we really have left is Vegeta and Monaka. Mhm. Mm so that's all we need. <laughs> hey, hey, we got nipple power, right? I uh, nipple power. I again hey, nipple power. Vegeta doesn't, doesn't play around. Worthy. Hey, Vegeta does not play around. He's kind of like hit. I can't wait. Or, um, maybe, maybe Monaka's gonna be the one to put down, you know, Frost and whoever steps his way. I, again, I just think that they're they're, they're definitely saving. The best for last, and I yes, do think right. in the end it's going to be Monaco versus Hit, and I don't know how that's going to fare off because like just the sound of it so sounds like really raw. It's like Hit versus Monaco, like because we don't know shit about these two. Um, we 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 know barely enough to talk about Monaco, him being you know the strongest rival Beerus has ever faced. Mm -hmm. Um, but we don't know nothing about Hit, so we all presume that like, Hit's going to be like the the guy. Um, but ultimately what you're saying here is Frost eliminates Goku. And Frost and eliminates Piccolo. Okay. Yes. Well, guys, leave your thoughts down below as to what you guys think of this. Uh, do you guys think Frost is stronger uh, than Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku in his final form? Or do you think, as JRC Zayn actually said, um, he's below Goku? Comment down below as to what you guys think is going to happen in the next chapter uh, with Frost. Do you guys think Frost is going to eliminate Piccolo and Goku? Comment down below, share your thoughts with us, guys. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you guys are fans of Dragon Ball, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys never miss a single episode. If you guys enjoyed, smash that like button. If you guys are excited about Dragon Ball Super, check out Jared Z. Saiyan, guys. Link down in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Once again, guys, God bless you all. We'll be seeing you all later. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.